And we're starting with this. This is the view of the sky above the eastern Ukrainian city of Slavansk last night. Its residents woke up to what they claim were incendiary bombs being dropped on their heads. That is a weapon banned by the UN, and Kiev denies its use. But here's what local residents told RT International. We all saw what happened here yesterday. They used rocket launchers as well as incendiary bombs against us. The ground was on fire. How can the ground burn by itself? It burned for about 40 minutes. Starting from 2 a.m., everyone I've met has a sore throat and is coughing all the time. I think this is because of the burning. I think we'll feel the true consequences later. There are still a lot of people here, a lot of children we haven't managed to get out yet. I spoke to Charles Shoebridge, he's a former army and intelligence officer. He says this attack bears all the signs of white phosphorus use. I've seen the uh, video, I've looked at it closely. It does indeed tally with, with what one might say are the whole signs, the hallmarks of white phosphorus use. For example, a very bright light burning um, and multiple uh, burns. Uh, coming down from the sky, it's an airburst weapon that's been used, such as a mortar or perhaps from an aircraft. And then, of course, again, the telltale uh, still burning uh, in videos that I've seen in the daytime showing actually this very telltale uh, white uh, grey smoke. So uh, white phosphorus being used is an alarming development. Of course, it needn't necessarily be illegal, but um, it depends on the usage uh, concern. And that's exactly why, of course, Lavrov and indeed others, um, and indeed people even from the West should be, even if they haven't so far, should be calling for a proper and full investigation of this incident to prevent it escalating. Savansk itself is, of course, an industrial city with a population of over 100,000 people. It's been a focal point of the government's crackdown on dissent. It's been under regular artillery fire for weeks now. Russia submitted a resolution to the UN Security Council calling for an end to the violence and an investigation into the use, maybe, of banned weapons here. It calls on all the parties to refrain from actions endangering the lives and security of the civilian population, civilian infrastructure, uh, and uh, uh, humanitarian goods uh, that calls on them to immediately end violence and agree to a sustained ceasefire. Uh, in fact, uh, we also have a reference, a new disturbing phenomenon. Uh, there, is, uh, uh, there is news, there are reports about the use of white phosphorus uh, uh, munition in the course of fighting by um, the uh, Ukrainian uh, side, uh, and uh, we believe that uh, there should be um, international attention. Charles Shoebridge again, describing for us the dangers of white phosphorus. It will burn right through somebody's body, um, right to, th to the bone. And, and also white phosphorus cannot be put out by use of water. It needs sand or some other um, uh, uh, material to actually suffocate it from burning to cut off the oxygen supply. Uh, there is a problem as well if there was going to be large amounts used. Um, it is also a poison. For example, it can be used... Um, or, or, or large amounts of it might be um, said to contaminate water supplies and so on, but it would take quite a lot of it being used uh, in those circumstances. It's mainly a question that this is, if it's indiscriminate use in urban areas, as appeared to be the case last night, again, it needs proper investigation, then um, uh, this may well be unlawful. But in any case, it's a startling development of uh, a, a fearsome weapon, whether it's strictly banned or not in these circumstances, and there were similar arguments over the Israelis' use of it in Gaza, for example, um, that is an escalation of this war and a war that's involving civilian casualties.